bounds. What is up, guys? It is Canadian Pro Seventh here. I got another Black Ops Three video for you guys today. I'm just gonna unplug that quickly. Um, something kind of really easy um, and something people complain about a lot on the PC version of Black Ops Three, and that would be the mouse lag. Now I know there's a lot of videos on this and people telling what's what to do and what not to do, but I kind of found out some things that actually helped me. So this kind of my aim on BO3 is feeling a little bit more similar now to BO2, um, so which is great. So let's start off with going to the menu, going to options, going to graphics. Now, it's really all personal preference with this. If you want windowed mode, it just depends how good your PC is. Uh, full screen usually gives you more FPS, but I like to keep it mine windowed full screen because I like to I have to record, live stream, do all all, the, all that other stuff. So we'll just save that. Um, render resolution. People said um, changing this from instead of 1080p going just a little bit lower, like maybe from 90% to 80%, does improve FPS and it makes your aim a little bit better for some reason, or just like I don't know, just like the mouse lag just kind of decreases a little bit, so it's easier to aim and stuff. So I usually keep mine at 90%, so it looks good and still you know helps me aim and stuff. Field of view again, also personal preference. If you like 65, like PS4 or whatever it is on PS4, to 120, I usually keep mine at 120 because why not? And now max frames per second here. Now this is all about your refresh rate. So mine's 59.9440. Mine's uh, can go up to 75, but for some reason it just doesn't allow it. Um, as you see here, it just stops at um, stops at uh, 59 instead of 60. It used to go 60 before, but then I don't know. Some update made it so I couldn't do it. But usually you want to keep it like around like from 70. If I can hit 70 there, 70 to around 90. It's like that's like the perfect. I usually keep mine around 90. Um, I don't know for some reason. Sometimes I do go 100. Sometimes I just leave it at 100 just because why not? So I'll just keep it at 100. But you, you want to keep it uh, near there. And another thing you want to do is de. Uh, uncheck this you don't want this checked because uh, if you sync every frame it's basically v-sync and you want in this game especially you need more frames for some reason for I don't know to, I think it's not to I don't know if it's about aiming better but a little bit it decreases mouse lag as well I'm pretty sure um, so let's move on to advanced here texture quality I keep mine on medium um, I can't put these to high uh, I usually go like this and keep that medium and then put this to low and then I save it so you can keep it like this if you want um, I usually just depends like I said it all depends on your PC so usually your PC if you if your PC is like low end you might want to go to low and just go for low for everything if there is a low setting which there probably is so yeah so this is that you probably want to take off these two things here um, you can keep dynamic shadows on but I usually keep it off because it's really I don't really see a difference uh, shadow map uh, map quality low and this is order independent transparency I usually keep it on none and then anti-aliasing I usually keep this one around SMAA T2 times or the familic uh, I think I hopefully I said that right and or usually FXAA which is I think the max you can do on BO2 but I'm not sure but I usually keep it on this one because it, it just feels the best um, Ambient occlusion. I keep this always on medium. You can try extra and high and medium. I usually like to keep it around medium and low, but usually medium is the best uh, that people have said. Motion blur. You just want to disable it off the bat because uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of motion blur. And that's really it for the in-game settings. Um, actually, let's go check the controls quickly. So another thing you can do. Uh, mouse sensitivity is all up to you. Free look. Obviously, you want to have that on. Um, and all this stuff you probably don't want on this one here I never tried it I exactly don't know what it does it tells you there though it tells you turn off frame smoothing when very variable frame rates seem to make objects accelerate and okay yeah so that's not I don't know I would keep it off I don't like that um, and mouse acceleration and filtering you always want these things both zero zero or zero point zero zero whatever you just want them both off you just don't want them on at all um, so now there's actually one more thing we can two more things we can do and um, it's going to be off the game so I'm just going to show you guys quickly so I'll be back in a second 
Okay guys, so we're on my uh, desktop here. There's actually two things that you can try doing. Um, I'll leave this link in the description. It's called Unpark CPU. Um, this is something I kind of found on the internet. Um, I'll just enable that quickly. And basically all you do is click check status and it's gonna load um, and I'll tell you the values and usually there should be at least two, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll just wait for this to load here quickly. So it just uh, searches and it'll park the CPU. So I guess when you're in game, it'll just like, instead of it stuttering sometimes, um, it'll keep it at that steady thing. And so like, cause usually your CPU rate's gonna go always up and down, up and down. And this just parks it so you don't want it. It's like consistent and not like, you know going all over the place so mine's already parked um, if yours doesn't say park then just click park all and then just exit the program okay so basically after that you just like I said click park and then just close the program after that um, after it's done loading then um, another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, if you have a gaming mouse uh, right now I got the Logitech G uh, G whatever these G 300s on uh, my mouse and like I said you can change these colors here. It really doesn't matter I'm just gonna keep it blue, but um, actually I already had it blue <laughs> Besides the point yep, that, and then go there. Okay, like I was saying um, Usually if you go to the pointing options, you can actually change what you your DPI is so you wanna it does It's all personal preference again because this just changes the sensitivity of your movement of your mouse so say for right now this is how fast it is right now this is what, how I like it but if you say if I change it up higher see how it's like more faster kind of it's just it's more like difficult to for me at least I, I like to keep it slow and like I can still click as fast as I like and obviously this is the highest which is like crazy which I, <laughs> I just can't stand so I'm just gonna click on that one um, so DPI you can change it on here if you have a Logitech gaming mouse um, and then the some programs uh, for your gaming mouse if you have a gaming mouse they'll have a pulling rate and usually people said that 250 is the best um, so I keep mine at 250 now since uh, I don't know it's getting my aim is getting a little bit better now since I tried all this stuff and kind of figured out what to do but that's 250 um, and another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check out our settings on the thing so you want to go to steam and then steam apps like program files well your local disk and then steam you know program files 80 times 86 or wherever you installed steam and then go to steam and then steam apps and then common black ops 3 go to players and then you got to go to your config you want to click control f and type in video this is just all the, your video memory it's going to ask for so it'll say fraction of video memory used as a target video memory equals 0 0.8 so you want to change whatever this is it might be a 1 for you you want to change it to 0 0.8 or it depends how good your computer is like I said I keep mine at 0 0.8 because I don't know it just so it's not using too much memory but at the same time it's using like most of it so that's all I would do save it and that's all I got for you guys so if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and if you guys have any questions about I don't know anything in this video that I went over um, just leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next video bye